So mm -hmm. if I talk about Google Summer of Code, I'll just write GSOC because everyone is looking up for that. Yeah. Why it started in the first place? Like, why do you think a devil person thought about this in the first place? Yes. So this project was first created by uh, this program was first created by Google, and they wanted to get closer to the developer community. It's right. all about developers, developers, and developers. And a, a nice way as well to bring new people to open source as well. Uh, okay. So GSOC initially was started for students uh, in, in universities. Uh, we now have a program for a college, uh, I mean, sorry, high school students as well. Mm -hmm. And recently, this year, GSOC has really opened to everyone. Anyone, uh, even if they're not students, they can they can join GSOC. And GSOC has been one of the most su successful uh, programs, uh, mentorship programs uh, ever. Mm -hmm. uh, 200 open source uh, projects are part of GSOC. And it's really good for the projects as well because it helps them to grow a community and uh, to really uh, create this uh, virtual cycles of mentees and mentors. Great, definitely. So we are having a way to bring uh, new people into the community. That is basically that into the open source community to be very specific. We are having that. And we are making like a whole list of mentors and mentees to actually contribute over here. Right. So if I talk about the basic structure of GSOC, I see there are few moving variables. What I personally see mm -hmm. over there, that is one are the open source, uh, organization. Okay. I, yeah. I messed up over here. Okay. <laughs> open source organizations. <laughs> I'm really bad at uh, live coding as well. You can see how I'm bad at actually live writing. You oh, it's fine. Write. I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> so open source organizations is one part. Okay. So the next thing is like projects, which projects mm -hmm. to select. The third mm -hmm. thing will be, I guess, uh, mentors for each project, mm -hmm. right? And final thing, I guess, will be students. Yes. Am I missing or, any or, of the moving variables or, over here? Yeah. Or mentees now, not or just mentees. students. Right, yes. definitely, because it has been expanded to more than students now, because so yes, definitely exactly. mentees. Right. So there are different moving variables around this project. So how do you think one thinks about, like one thinks about, right, uh, how this kind of a program can be structured because if one needs yeah. to approach it as structuring this program, one needs to know about, first of all, these variables and then how the logistics will work around it. So if I am like a program manager over there, how will I think about it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's really interesting to think about your audience. Who mm -hmm. is your audience? So mm -hmm. the, you, you have here the mentors, the mentees, about the ideas as well. Uh, each project will have an, uh, some ideas, some issues mm -hmm. uh, to be solved. And we have to identify for each audience, what's the value proposition? How is this project mm -hmm. going to help each one of them? How it's going to help right. the project? How it's going to help the mentor? And how it's going to mm -hmm. help the mentee? And uh, actually there's uh, not just mentees, but we also have contributors. Not everyone's going to get uh, into GSOC, but that doesn't mean the experience is not valid. If you learn about open source, if you learn about collaboration, even if you don't get selected for GSOC, you can still have a very uh, great learning experience. Uh, you can still uh, contribute, make important contributions. So it's all about finding those valid positions for each audience and making sure that everyone can uh, benefit from this. Right. So basically helping everyone, that is the first thing that keep, you should keep in your mind and that's how you will actually figure out the logistics of it. But now let's talk mm -hmm. about the deliverables. So I need to onboard open source organizations, right? How mm -hmm. will I do it? How will I approach an open source organization and say, 
okay let let please come into my particular program and get new uh, like people into it because they will be looking at people who are qualified they will be looking for people mm -hmm. who want to do something and they ha actually have that particular passion of doing it how what kind of a proposition will you keep for the organizations yes so yash this is something that it's really important uh, mm -hmm. uh, and so i'm going to change a bit how you approach this so okay. Yes, you might want to create a program, uh, a mentorship program of your own, but mm -hmm. it's definitely challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps the best strategy is to work together with other organizations who already mm -hmm. provide a, a program. So uh, just about every open source project that I know, every open source organization, they work together with other uh, mentorship programs. So we have... Uh, we can see the CNCF, uh, even the Confidential Computing Consortium. Uh, this is something that I'm organizing together with them. Instead of creating our own program on our own, we're working together in partnership with several others. Uh, we right. have, for example, Google Summer of Codes. We have Outreach. Even the mm -hmm. Linux Foundation has one called LFX uh, Mentorship. Google right. also has the uh, uh, a season of docs, which is a bit right. different from Google Summer of Codes, which is mm -hmm. uh, geared towards uh, documentation. So right. I would, if I were to create a program, I would structure around those uh, other initiatives uh, instead of mm -hmm. creating one new. And why is that? Because mm -hmm. GSOC, uh, it's already almost 20 years that this program exists. Outreach, I believe it's five years already, and they can attract uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, developers, a lot of students, and this can be uh, very beneficial for you. Uh, if you were to create a program of your own, it would be very challenging, and you have to have a lot of resources to uh, right. gather that audience. Great, makes sense. So definitely you will have to save your resources, and that's why you will actually mm -hmm. work with these existing programs but now exactly yeah. how will i filter these organizations so this goes both ways as an organization how should mm -hmm. i think about approaching such a program as a devil person and like such a company how should i filter out these uh, organizations yes so it's really important to uh, get buying from leadership and explain mm -hmm. to them why it's important to have uh, this and how these programs will help uh, attract new developers, to grow a community, uh, and to help uh, your projects, uh, your open source projects. And so, uh, so, and also work together with other organizations. So, for example, I'm part of the NRS projects. This mm -hmm. is just one project from the uh, Confidential Computing Consortium. I could organize, uh, I could be part of this uh, GSOC or whatever on my own as this project. But I said, no, I think it's important for us to approach this as an organization, a larger organization, as a conf mm -hmm. Confidential Computing Consortium. Uh, okay. So working together with other similar projects as yours, so you can have a, a better chance of, of growing your community and bringing benefits. So I think that's uh, key as well. Uh, so maybe you can write down, work together with other projects or work together with right. other communities, right? It's all about, mm -hmm. about establishing those partnerships. Right. It's interesting well, because uh, we're not just, mm -hmm. yeah, we're, we're not just part of the Confidential Computing Consortium, but we're, we're actually using WebAssembly and mm -hmm. uh, web, the WebAssembly community is growing, so we we work together with uh, an, uh, a community, in fact, called Wasm Builders, mm -hmm. uh, which has the support from the Bicode Alliance, the uh, CNCF. So really work together with everyone you think that can help you uh, to advance this program. Great, perfect. So we have talked about organizations now, right? So mm -hmm. with organizations, somehow the projects will be kind of covered 
because when I'm talking about organizations, I'm already talking about like the open source organization will choose their project itself. Maybe we'll have yeah. a filtration system for the projects. 